So what I really wish that I had understood about employability skills when I was entering um, my professional career is that they are central to any job, no matter what sector you work in, if it's STEM, if it's communications, if it's marketing, if it's business development, you need the same interpersonal skills, the same communication skills, the same um, attitude and willingness to learn. And, and those are so critical to success, almost no matter what field you enter. That time capsule ride um, back um, 30, 40 years ago, I think um, what I what I would tell myself um, is how how important soft skills are. I think communications is extremely extremely important for my own career. I think um, communication has been very important. All these skills are very important, but communication teamwork is, of course, as you hear from many people, the most important. Because once I started working in my workplace, I, I had to communicate a lot to make sure that I met up to the standards of the workplace. For me, the most important thing is for employability skills that I learned that I use pretty much on a daily basis is how to communicate effectively and professionally. So at the workplace, um, there's going to be a lot of communications where it's done not face-to-face, -face, but rather through emails or quick phone calls. If I or, or someone on my team can't communicate a technical result, um, the result is effectively useless. When the, when the communication skills, when it's really important is when you have a team that's all leaning on each other. And with what we do here, that's definitely the case. We have manufacturing processes where someone will do part of the work and then it transfers to another department. And if they're not really well in communication about what's happening and what's coming and how things are changing, then the whole thing falls apart. And when it comes to communication skills, just one more thing, sometimes people get a little bit confused about what's more important. Is it my verbal skills or my written skills? And I think they're both really super important. The verbal skills really give you context of, of what this person means and how they're saying it, but certainly then writing it uh, afterwards to make sure that everything is clear and well documented. For me, communication is the most used. Um, teamwork, definitely used. And lifelong learning, definitely uh, one of the top ones as well. When I hear these terms of uh, employability, teamwork, lifelong learning, and communication, I believe all three are key into being employed to wherever you want to uh, further in your career. So the employability skill that I've used the most is lifelong learning. I've found that no matter where I am, no matter what stage of a job, job I'm in, the beginning, the middle, you know, closer to the end and the time that I move on, it's really important for me to be able to continue learning. Lifelong learning is incredibly important to success in my workplace because I we face different challenges every day and I have to continually come up with new ways to address those new challenges. Um, so the ability to learn something like a marketing skill or an Excel skill or, um, you know, how to give a really good presentation, each of these things comes up and many others. And um, I have to be able to pick up new skills associated with them to do them successfully. Uh, another thing is uh, I'm also interested in their ability to work in a team environment. Uh, and from the perspective of a uh, technical manager who leads teams now in research and development, I think my employees would probably agree that adaptability and teamwork are very important to me. If you fall behind, everyone falls behind. And it's not about you anymore once you're in the workplace. It's about your entire team. So. If you fall behind, everyone falls behind. And when I started to fall behind, when I first started working, everyone had my uh, had my back. Uh, they made sure that I, I got what I needed. They taught me what I needed to learn. And they made sure that I succeeded in the workplace as best as I could. And, and a team is so much better when you have people that have different skills. And, and if you can have, um, if you can um, have a team that is that is 
cohesively using each of those skills um, and adapting to what they need to do based on who's who's better at this and who knows this. And, I mean, it's key. You don't. You, we don't need you to do 150 percent. We need you to do 100 percent on what you're doing. Do your job, and the people around you will support you.